Welcome back to my channel, everyone tuning in. Um, so Nintendo just had their first Nintendo Direct for the year. Um, a couple days ago now, I am a bit late to the party on that, so I won't do a full analysis. I feel like everyone else has already done that. I was very slow, apologies there. But there is one thing that I did take from the Direct that I think we really should be focusing on, or I really want to focus on anyway. Um, in regards to the Nintendo Switch Online service and how I think, especially regarding the expansion pass, how I think it's kind of becoming good value now. I mean, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll rewind a little bit. Um, we go back to when Nintendo first announced Nintendo Switch Online expansion. They started off by introducing us to the long-awaited N64 library which they were going to start bringing over to the service. Then they also sweetened it by saying, oh, you also get Sega Mega Drive and Genesis games as well. And on top of that, you also get the Animal Crossing DLC that came out for the Switch um, a while ago included in the service. And we're all like, oh, cool. And then Nintendo dropped the price, which was pretty much, I think it was about double over double what the base subscription was for the Super NES and the NES games and the online play functionality as well. And considering how meager the offerings were back then, it just felt like absolute price gouging. I mean, you're paying double for literally a few Nintendo 64 and Genesis ROMs and DLC, which was already relatively old at that point, that most people who wanted it would have already paid for it. And it just... It just felt like Nintendo would... T kind of pulling an anti-consumer move. Because it's like, well, you know, you can download these... It's just, it's, it made no sense. It was the most anti-consumer, most unappealing offer I think Nintendo's ever actually put out and when you compare it to game services like Xbox Game Pass and that sort of thing which were roughly the same sort of money if not a bit more um, the offerings are a lot better and the price is more you know justified for what you're getting on those services and it just felt like Nintendo's like oh yeah we have Nintendo 64 ROMs. If you want to play them, you have to pay this extra fee on top of what you're already paying for a subpar online experience. And yeah, it just felt like, ugh, you know. And is this the only expansion pass? Are they going to be, is it, will be there an expansion pass later on for GameCube and Wii games? You know, it just, it kind of opened up like that. Is that, you know, is this all we're getting? Now, following the Nintendo Direct, we. One of my one of the theories that I think have been floating around for a while is will Nintendo improve this service over time? Because obviously they're adding more N64 games to the service, and I'm assuming Genesis as well. But one thing we weren't sure of is DLC. And in the Nintendo Direct, Nintendo announced that they were going to be releasing 48 new DLC tracks for Mario Kart 8. I thought they'd be announcing Mario Kart 9, but this is basically the next best thing. You're getting 48 new tracks. I'm pretty sure Mario Kart Deluxe has got 48 tracks already, so that's literally a brand new game worth of tracks. Anyway, they are all old legacy tracks, but still, it's content. Nintendo is selling this DLC, I think, for about $25 separately, or as part of the Nintendo Switch Expansion Pass service. Now, what that says to me, and this is the thing, it's starting to look... This is making Switch Online Expansion Pass look a lot better. Like, this is clearly the direction Nintendo's going. Rather than... While they will offer DLC as an extra fee for people who want to pay just for the outright DLC, they're also saying if you subscribe to our expansion service, You'll get all this for free. It sounds to me like this is Nintendo's future business model. This is it. It's just like Xbox Game Pass. It's going to be all of our legacy content is on this service. And so too is all our DLC for our first party games. Like imagine if they release a Mario Odyssey expansion. Okay, that's now an expansion pass or you can buy it separately. Um, we might like, you know, touch wood, this will never happen. Another Smash Brothers character, same thing. Oh yeah, that's included in the expansion pass as well. All future 
Nintendo DLC, it's paid. If they introduce all their future DLC and expansion content into this service at no extra charge, it's going to make the service a hell of a lot more attractive to a lot more people, irregardless of the N64 library. You can just whittle games out bit by bit, but if you're offering subscribers something extra on top of that, like, oh, you play Mario Kart? Here's 48 new tracks for you because you're a subscriber. Things like that will help the service grow and will give it value in the end. It's kind of like kind of like the stock market in a way. It's like you have to decide for yourself, is it worth investing in this now or am I going to wait until there's more content on there? It's really up to the user, but I think as of right now, I mean, I subscribe to it because Banjo-Kazooie came out and I wanted to play it again, but it really does come down to the person. Eventually there will be content that comes out. It's like, oh yeah, you can pay $25 or 80 bucks a year. You can get access to this, plus this, plus this, plus all these extra games as well on, from the Nintendo 64 and Genesis and Mega Drive. And it's like, well, yeah, stuff it. I'll just do it. I'll just subscribe. I'll have my money, Nintendo. Have all my money and my time and everything. And I think that's the angle they're starting to take. It's Microsoft paved the way for it. And I think Nintendo has seen the lucrative side of it as well. And also how it can also be pro-consumer. And it's a constant revenue stream for them as well. Anyway, just want to make a quick video just dumping all of that. I didn't have a script. This is all just completely unscripted. I'm just waffling on into the microphone here. That's pretty much all I've got to say. Um, as I said, I won't probably do a analysis video of the entire direct because I think a lot of people have already done that. I've missed my mark entirely on that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna. Ha I've got a few other videos planned that'll be coming out pretty soon. There is a Pokemon Legends Arceus video I want to talk about, and the future of the uh, Pokemon games. I want to do a discussion video on that as well, so that'll probably be out next. Don't know when. Um, as I said, I am extremely procrastinating and lazy, so that is something I have to deal with. Feel my truth. That's all I can say. Anyway, thank you for listening to this and watching this and all that. Um, hit like, subscribe, comment, d dislike. I don't just push a button down there. I don't care which one. Just push any button in the description there that you can see. Um, and that is all good. So until next time, I am Casino, and you are welcome. <laughs>